Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about response validation in Google Forms. So oftentimes I'm asked, how can you set a lock for a digital breakout using a Google Form? The answer is simple. It's a deeper function in Google Forms called response validation. It's super simple. No coding, no nothing, just clicking and typing. So the way to do it is to make your question a short answer question and then make it required to, otherwise a student could skip it. And then you have the three dots over here. Sometimes these are called the snowman, although usually the snowman has a bigger base, but whatever. We click those. I like putting a description because that gives you like instructions such as all caps or something of that nature. And then we have response validation, which is truly magical in Google Forms. And let me tell you why. Now, first of all, number. I usually don't do number. Let me tell you why. When you use a number on a Chromebook, the student can toggle to that number with the arrows. So it's not very useful because students can easily just toggle to the number and find out that they're correct. So I like to use text. So we set to text and then contain. So let's say we wanted the answer to be France. And so I set it to France. Now watch what happens. Let's do the preview. And I will type in Italy. Now, notice it says must contain France. Why? Because I didn't type an error message. You have to type an error message such as still locked or something like that. It could also be a hint as to where they can go find the answer. So if I refresh this, and if I type in Italy, it says still locked. If I type in France, the error message goes away and we are good. It doesn't say you're correct but it does take away the error message. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's response validation. Uh, think about all the ways you can use this with your students. I use it for digital breakout, but there's all sorts of great ways that students can work on questions and they're wrong until they're right. So the feedback is immediate. If you have any questions about that, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.